the uh, okay but we will see if they will use any kind of stuff so that's it i'm thinking it's time for initiative rolls roll for initiative there we go i have strangely good initiative rolls in this game Right, initiative. Twenty nine. <coughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh yeah. It was plus five initiative. Okay, oh. so that's <laughs> shit. Shit. Okay, that's the Scorpion fella and genies are so, Zach, you want me to rescue you? Plus eight. Uh, I think I have to get out of this on my own because it's a grapple. I could just, you know, kill it, but okay. Yeah, okay that's... I'll leave you to it. I'll go and you attack can, the you genie. You go ahead and then. kill it. That works too. Just don't <laughs> kill me. <laughs> yeah. I suppose you'll have to have a roll of 1d4 think, to see if I hit you. I think it'd be like here now. Mm. Yeah, you're there. Yeah, something like that. I'm not actually screaming because I'm a ninja, but yeah, yeah you yeah. you cannot destroy your image of. Like... <laughs> you're you're swinging your arms and legs around wildly while it's gripping you around the neck. <laughs> okay, sword descending, uh, Vesten, you are first to uh, go. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hang on, this counts as a grapple, right? Uh, which thing? Uh. Being in his claw? Yes, you are grappled. Alright, oh, I'm gonna try to take control of the grapple. Or it's the same as escaping, so. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing you're rolling your CMB against his CMD? Yep. That might not be enough. Yeah, his CMD is 29. Damn, well, I wouldn't have been able to escape anyway, so. Yeah. Just so you know, the tripping him is might be impossible. Because he has a lot of legs. Yeah, he has very high CMD against trip. I mean, he has eight legs. How the fuck do you trip somebody with eight <laughs> legs? <laughs> well... A very, very long pole. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes, indeed. Anyways... Uh... At that point, you should just stab it with it. That's yeah, your exactly. turn, If you have I enough guess? strength to trip it, you yep, might have that's a turn. to stab it. Can't do anything else. Uh, do everybody... Oh, wait. Oh. Yeah, some, something's wrong, because I told to descend and... What do you... Yeah, now it's good, because... You, just, yours... hadn't put, you just hadn't put my... In the... there Kiros, it, so. your turn. Charge! <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay, I charge into his face, since uh, I don't... Give me a sec. Your, your range is 10, right? Your... Oh wait, do you count the first one? Was, what, wait, I was like here... No, no, I'm asking I... about your reach. Your reach. Yeah, I have 5 foot reach. Mm. With lance? I guess no, you ten, have... No, ten, 10 foot reach. reach. I, so I, thought, he has... I thought there was green in the middle, didn't count. So yeah, I can't charge, I just he, have to step I mean, forward. I mean, you could, but... Remember that he has no. 5 foot more re reach than, your, than you. No, 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 I'm. you have to charge 10 feet and then I couldn't hit him with the lance. So yeah, I'm too close. Mm. Had I stood here, then I could have charged it, but ah, I stood okay. here. If you wanna just I attack. Think. You could five yeah. foot step back and charge. No, you can't five foot step and charge in the same round. Really? Mm. Yeah, you can't. So Interesting. It's it's a bit too easy to do it if you do it that way. So, does he have high dodge or should I just roll 3d20s? He has high AC. No, he doesn't have high AC. <laughs> that was a close to one. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I just see, challenged. I'm only seeing 1d20 and I'm not seeing any pluses to those. No, I just checking if I hit. Yeah, because I, oh. I hit automatically if I don't have anything extra. Oh, I but see. A, a challenge. Is he an evil creature? It's a spider. I mean, a, a scorpion. But does it count as an evil creature? Hmm. You might do a knowledge check to see if you're sure that if if what this might call it? if this uh, might evil would work against him. Yeah, couldn't like a paladin do like uh, detect evil? Oh yeah, right. Because at some level you get detective at will. 
you can do at will anytime as long as you have it. So I suppose I do detect evil at so will. So the creature itself is not evil. Okay. But there's some... Uh, not to say mind control, but there are like, you know, these very, very slight aura around it that's reeking with evil. But the creature itself is not. Mm. There. Melee damage with challenge. 15 plus 9 plus... Oh god. This is wrong. I, I hope Can you disperse this evil? thing? Is that a thing? What did you say? No, there's mm -hmm. the 9. No, no, I remember. No, I remember. Okay, that's wrong. No. There we go. I think <gasps> this is it. Thirty four, thirty one, thirty three. Mm. So ninety eight. Oh god. Uh, how much? So ninety eight? Yeah. Yeah, he had ninety five HP. <laughs> I keep killing them with like five HP one HP more. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh god. Um Mm. Yeah, so he's going to hell. Yeah, suddenly there's a flash of weapon and there's like poof, slam into. Suddenly into there's not enough scorpion. scorpion to support that big body. Mm. Yeah, and suddenly, Western, you feel, feel free and maybe slightly there's too much uh, blood of the creature on you when it's sprayed uh. all around. Uh. <laughs> Okay. I mean, nonetheless, I mean, I, I really do take this much damage. Nine plus damage from, you know, uh, using a weapon with two hands, nine plus damage from challenge, plus two damage from magic weapon. Actually, it will be plus five damage from magic weapon, but nonetheless, plus six damage for power attack. So, yeah, I do take that much damage. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised. I think I could do even more damage, but I don't, I'm, I'm not even sure I should be doing this much damage, so I'm not even gonna bother. Well, it's your turn. Your, your turn. Annoying, floating, gaseous clouds. Mm. Yeah, what he can do? Just gonna go quickly to the toilet. Tell me if I'm dead. I really don't want to attack something that looks uh. like like uh, the genie from Aladdin. Uh. Yeah, I need to think <coughs> really hard to what they wanna do. Uh... Ah, okay. I know what they will do. So, suddenly, all of you, I was if you didn't leave. Yep. Uh, hmm. All of you see that these two fellas, that they... Wait, is that spell requires to do something? Uh, yeah, vocal component. So they very quietly mutter some words and suddenly both of those guys disappear. Hang on. Damn it, listen, is a skill check. Hmm, okay. Alright. Wait till my turn. Oh, wait, there's. Oh, crap. What? Nothing. Uh, what happened? Did you just spill your drink again? Nope. Um, okay. I'm looking at the turn order, and I'm saying your crap. Then Kiro, your turn. Hey, you're shaking. Right. Hmm. You should let me charge in there because they can't. They have to hit my AC to hit me with the from invisibility. Right. Uh, don't know if I'm still invisible or not. I guess I am. You are. Uh, 
if you didn't attack, then still you are invisible. Atiros is not yeah. invisible, and I'm guessing West then, because you are grappled and attack. I, since, since I tried to um, grapple, like I had to try to grapple back, so that gets rid of the invisibility. Like if I if I had done nothing, I would have probably stayed invisible in his claw. But you wanted to take control of grapples, so yep. I'm guessing you are not invisible. I'm Wait, not even Genkiro. sure how that would work, but yeah. All right, so uh, Genkiro is going to uh, swift, uh, do a swift action and move to his fox form, and they go over here. Do you have? Don't you have sense in your fox form? Um, hang on. Fox. Uh, is sent? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't think you can and low light with sent now. <clears throat> yeah, but the thing is, as you wanted to move even in the small fox form. Suddenly, one of these guys, like you were trying to move here, okay? But suddenly you hear, or like maybe even see that there is a whew, which like something goes uh, uh, through the air. And basically, this is an attack of opportunity from invisible foe. Uh, do they know? Hang on, what's oh wait, you... yeah, because you didn't get the chance uh, to see if they might, if they, if you might see or like hear them. So you might do a perception check against their his stealth. Right, perception. Do I get any bonus as in my fox for perception plus eight? The spell was still working when you were moving towards in that in that place. So plus eighteen. Thirty six. Well, that might be a nice one. Stealth fifteen. <laughs> well, nicely done. I even didn't give him plus forty because technically he moved, but well, technically yeah. he wasn't moving, so he could get plus forty. But I decided on plus twenty. And now... I really don't want to attack them since uh, Genkuro believes they're being uh, brainwashed or something. You know what? You won't be like you won't be surprised or flat-footed, but because you moved here and he attack, so yeah, and I still have uh, what was it? Uh... Invisibility. Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. Where is it? Improved on canny dodge. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So you I have that too. Leave. Yep. Can't be caught flat-footed either. Yeah, Fun. okay. But still, attack of opportunity goes. Plus this. I guess that's oh. hits. Yeah, even though on my very small form. Yeah. So, yeah, there's suddenly like a splash of Something, something here is like a splash of water, and there's a almost direct hit on the fox, but he manages to go only with. Well, I rolled quite nicely on that. Blop, 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 blop. <coughs> and uh, suddenly, you can see a wet fox. <laughs> what does the fox say when he's wet? <laughs> Anyways. Now, these folks. You suddenly see. As, uh, maybe like as Genkiro moved closer, like that. Yeah. You suddenly see something that's. What's the. 
Basically that creature has a vaguely humanoid head, the body of the lion and the wings of a dragon. Its tail ends in a long sharp spikes. Really? Yes, really. Not, not the head of a snake, then that'd be Chavira. No, no, wait a minute, not really. Close no, enough. The... And it's their turn, so... Of course, uh, but no, they only have 5 foot reach, so this guy needs to... But technically speaking, if he moves like here... It's almost like here, technically speaking, he made 5 foot step for him because he's 10 by 10. And, of course, he will try to pounce on a... Oh god! Oh god, this was a horrible idea! <laughs> yeah, this really... Wait, because I fucked up with copying the description of that guy. But of course, even if in not your turn, you might ask for uh, uh, knowledge checks to see what to check if you know about that creature. So basically, he uses. Are you here? I'm here. Yeah, for a second, I thought I lost you guys. Hello. Oh, so maybe Skype um, called like la lagged for. My internet hi hiccuped because uh, Firefox started taking way up, up way too much memory. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm just completely restarting it. Oh, so do you wanna just wait for you? Uh, it's loading back up now. So. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Still, uh, you can hear uh, on your small Fox phone this uh, beast. Uh, lunges on you with because that was five foot step for him he will do a full attack with his bite and claws so plus 12 three oh at attacks total one two three and um, hang on let me check plus since i'm tiny i get a Plus two AC. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just hits since uh, I have AC twenty three. Uh, in Pathfinder, if you equal or higher, then you hit. So if yeah. you if you have twenty three AC, then twenty three and twenty five hit. Yeah. I didn't hear that. I thought you only said one hit, not two, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, one by... Uh, no, wait. Ah, two claws. So, 2d4 plus 7. Roll 2d4. So, uh, with his front paws, he come With his human front uh, uh, hand, he kind of slaps me. Uh, something like that. That's what you get for doing this. <laughs> yeah, vaguely humanoid head. Ouch. And ouch. Okay, and that funny thing is that was the only first one. The second uh, one. Uh, the second one. What they? They're. Oh, these fuckers can fly. Okay. Yeah, they. Oh, yeah, dragon wings. Yeah, I forgot for a second about that. What are they called anyway? Okay, um, this guy moves here, and instead of pouncing forwards towards Vesten and Otiros, he makes something like a swing with his tail, and suddenly there are like four spikes coming out of this uh, tail, uh, charging straight at uh, Vesten. Hmm. Plus ten. So that's... Uh, because if I didn't... Yeah, range attack, four spikes, plus ten. 
So I'm guessing I'm not. Has to hit 22. Uh huh. So that's second, that's third, that's fourth. So, two hit. 1d6 plus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. It will be. No, maybe not. If you. Ah, we're gonna do it that way. It will be easier. Tall enough for them to fit in. Like 20 feet, 25 feet. Sure yeah, yeah this, this place wasn't built for small people. Uh, oh, sorry. Does Demo the uh, genie over there look like a good size for it? For 1d6 plus... Uh, min like a good size? Yeah, they, they can fit. No problem. I mean, like, like it was built for someone that size? Uh, well, hard to say for whom it was built. Like... M Maybe the biggest of the giants might have troubles getting here, but usually, like, ogre, ogre king, like, most of the giant king might be no problem. It's, it definitely wasn't built, you get the feeling that it wasn't built for the human folk, like, 5x5 five five humanoids. Okay, so that's one, that's two. Ouch. Now, this guy decides oh. to fly up oh my. and he only will do one attack with... Uh... Well, hey folks, believe me, if Alexander was here, I was rolling for these enemies on random table generator, and these were the numbers that gave me. Okay. On one, on one d four, these creatures, they I rolled a four. So. Well, as long as Odorous can slaughter them all. Yeah, I guess so. They are like, if you believe in that, they have CR less than you. Like even the scorpion had CR maybe equal to your level. Not your guess. Plus twelve. Yeah, he's trying to bite your ass off. Okay. Does he make it? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's 1d8 plus 7. Control? Well, the good stuff is that they don't have any poison bullshit or something like that. 1d8 plus 7 is... yeah. So take 11 points of damage. Now... The fourth one and last. God, this army is really. I, mean, I can't slaughter them, but I can slaughter all of them. Or the evil. No, wait, I'm gonna check them on my turn. Um. Uh, give me a second I need to check if his stats are okay. Um. I'm guessing we're flying, and because this spa the place is rather spacious, he will be able to fly up here. And uh, unleash another, like another swing tail, and unleash another four spikes, but this time at Otiros. Basically, they are not focusing their fire, so that's one, two, three, four. Two hits. Okay. Uh, and for that is 2d4 plus 7. Yeah. One and two. 24 HP. Yeah, this then you were saved by Otiros from the grasp of the scorpion, and there's suddenly some fucking creature in your on your face trying to chew you off. It'd be oh. a good idea if you moved a bit to the left so you can charge it. Yeah, but you might not have to. Okay. Do we have uh, buffs from our wizard who's not currently participating? 
Yep. Like haste. Yeah, yep. you, you have haste. Okay. I'm gonna hit this fucker seven times, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cut Power off all it. and all that jazz. Yeah, cut off all its unnecessary extremities. However, I'm not flanking, so. Uh huh. So, first Oops. attack. Um. Uh, is a miss. Second attack with main weapon, which is a miss. miss. <laughs> ah, we don't do critical of fumbles, thankfully. Stab yourself, yeah. stab yourself in the heart, then die. Yeah, believe me, I watch. I was watching a roleplay show that I think they were playing second edition, and uh, that's a hit. When they were pff, basically, guy rolled like two ones in a row or three ones in a row, and he destroyed his magical weapon completely, shattered weapon. And the twenty-seven is a hit. Fourteen is a miss. So for now, two hits. Main hand haste. Uh, hit, so three hits. Main hand key. Also a hit. Which I actually think that might be crit range. Same with the. Yeah, ch one. check that out. If they are crit range, roll to confirm. It is crit range. So roll two times to confirm two crits. So that first one would have been. Alright. So roll 20 plus 16. Uh, confirms, and the second one also confirms. So I have a critical hit with my offhand and a critical hit with my main hand. Yes. And then a hit with my main hand and two hits with my offhand, one of them's a crit, and a crit with my main hand, and then another hit with my main hand. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess this guy is in a world of pain. So said, Actually, wait, in this... wait. Never mind. I was confused for a minute because too many. I technically got another crit on my crit, but that we're not doing that either. Mm -hmm. No super crits, not. So let's let's see. That would be one d eight plus seven, so two d eight plus. Also, if I do completely OP, can I shish kebab those guys in front of me with a charge? <laughs> if if you wanna shish kebab, I will need to see roll for damage, like total. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, I will. Re I really need to kill a fotiros. <laughs> 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 this is what I'm talking about. If you do that, I'm gonna be a, pretty much a road to use those crazy things without being OP. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I think probably the round after you kill me off, you're gonna meet something that you were still planning on because having me with. Because it's not like I don't... I like your character, really. Because But the thing is, we, because you're dealing so much damage, then the creatures on your CR, or one, even one CR higher, they die in one hit, so I need to throw something that's like CR 15 or 16 at you. Yeah, and then everybody else but me dies and, I, and I'm all alone, so it's kinda OP. Yeah. Or just, I don't know, like, like every, like, there was a, I don't know, maybe I will think of something like, 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 no problem. That, okay, so to make things interesting, the god of trickstery and something like that decides that all enemies that this party encounters have mirror image, per, perma mirror image on them. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Or something like that. 76. Terribly. That guy had 69 HP. Yeah, he died. Mm. Yeah, so you can describe how you uh, kill him. I cut off his human face, then his tail, and just <laughs> let him die. Painfully. Okay. So, you, we might remember that there are two, right now two very badly mutilated corpses of Scorpion and this guy. And, uh, yeah, because there are now your turns, so, I don't know, anybody wants some kind of checks to see what this kind, what these guys are? We, you already yeah. know, you already know what the genies are, but... Uh, I have lore master, so I guess I could use that. Uh huh. So that gives me an automatic uh, critical on any lore check. Or okay. Check. So you know that these guys are called manticores. 
they are basically magical beasts that right. oh they have sent aside from other senses dark vision low light vision and sent <clears throat> they don't have spell like abilities uh, they don't have any kind of damage resistance or spell resistance they can fly of course uh, and i think that's i don't know i've missed something you and their spike attack uh, yeah that's their usual range attack it's not special attack it's just their range attack that that they can have also, you know that because yeah, you have not twenty on that. That this version they are advanced manticores. They are not your usual oh, so kind. Oh, die alliance. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Right. Di yeah. I forgot the description. That yeah, advanced manticores. Are